Hello and welcome to May the 27th or turn 18. Um, this is actually the last turn because after this one the allies have indicated that they are willing to surrender. So let's get right into it. There's clear weather again which is, is good but this has been quite a run of clear weather. And we're up to 51 victory points. Still, still at 23% uh, losses, which is a little bit surprising, although we've agreed that the Allies would like to be able to force us over the 25% mark if the game was to play out. Right, let's have a look at the history and then we'll do an overview of the final positions. So first things first, there was a big breakthrough by 18th in the south. Uh, the, the French don't seem to be able to form a coherent line anymore, despite some stubborn units, as you can see. Um, they are really struggling. Similar thing up here in that this lot, which were threatened with encirclement, are now um, even the noose is tightening on them even more. I think there's been some issues with their headquarters units not being in the same pocket as the actual units, which gives them command and control issues. So that's why I think it may be perhaps why they're not falling back as quickly as they could be. As you can see, 18th Army just basically advances and moves into the gaps where it can and their mobile units. Um, I don't believe they managed to pinch the pocket there, although they do try. Actually, no, no, they do. It's it's further up, they don't manage it. Yeah, so they, they completely cut these guys off. There's a few mobile units in here, but they also get a second very loose encirclement on them. Also, yeah, our mobile units are doing what they can. And we're just basically creating pockets as much as we can. Yeah, things are things are not looking up for the Allies, and we hit them with planes where we can as well. This very stubborn section manages to hold out, so we will we will wipe it next turn, but. As I, as I said before, there isn't going to be a next turn because the French armies are surrendering. Six armies on the go and they try to punch out this bit to create another miniature pocket but don't succeed. There are French units in here. Uh, we're not just moving there for no reason. And uh, frustrating the the um, French headquarters units in this city refuse to fall back even when attacked by quite a lot of Germans. They would be eliminated next turn though. Elsewhere all that's really happening is the French have guard regiments at the crossings. We don't really have any capability to force those with our mobile units at this point so we would have to wait for the infantry but there's also not a lot that the French can do to punch back on at us. In the north of Six Army, we're mopping up chunks of British that have been isolated. Nothing too surprising there. We get across the river and basically press up to the British line as much as we can. Yeah, overall, um, nothing too dramatic except the encirclements in the south this turn. Got fairly light forces here. Basically just going around any hard points with French regiments in them. Um, the French engineers hold out yet again, which is a bit crazy. The fourth army surges forward. The last, I believe the very last of the Belgians will be knocked out this turn. Uh, they're still not surrendered, which is honestly unbelievable. Uh, 
and some of these are quite stubbornly just sitting there refusing to surrender oh well it could be worse the, the engineers as well also refusing to surrender there's some very stubborn allied units in this game but yeah overall mostly there's not any meaningful resistance <clears throat> So the fourth, so fourth Army is just advancing to the coast and then will be diverting south as much as it can, or it would rather. The British have largely managed to escape being pinned against the coast so they can fall back into France and do an evacuation without the craziness that was Dunkirk in real life. As you can see, the 12th Army, just there's nothing between them and the coast, so they're just advancing as far as their action points can carry them. The game is largely over. Um, the French put up a good fight, but at this point there's nothing, nothing they can do. They can't even maintain a coherent line. The final coherent fighting force is the British, and they've got a clear path of retreat towards the French interior, so they can be evacuated by sea in some manner or other. Looks like we're hunting out a few French planes with 12th Army's aircraft. And Panzer Group Plus is off. They will hopefully be able to nab a few more British in a pocket, but um, the French are standing firm in cities, but yeah, they're going to get surrounded very quickly. And there isn't really a lot that they can do about it. Panzer Group Kleis continues to do its thing. Just a very large amount of mobile units. In the north, 16th Army is just crushing the remnants of the Dutch, who again refused to surrender for quite a long time. Ah oh, well, can't have it all. It's been a good battle on both fronts, even though our 16th Army was a bit undermanned. But yeah, these guys in the north, no supply, so they just don't have a chance. British bombers continue to be completely useless. Perhaps to nobody's surprise. I do think the Allied aircraft are a bit undervalued in this game. And I've also been informed by Brother Pedro, the French player, that the French don't get any uh, anti-air units at all, which seems a bit questionable to me. I mean, they did have one of the largest armies in Europe at the start of this. So the fact that they didn't manage to, had to so apparently don't manage to have a single anti-air unit is a bit, mm, just feels a bit off to me, to be honest. Does explain why the Luftwaffe does such a number on them though. Looks like the British failed a counterattack there, but the rest of them are just buggering off. Happy to not engage the offensive forces of Sixth Army. And last but not least, the Dutch, who are doing what they can, but that what they can is quite little. Okay, let's have a look at where we are in the north. It looks to me like uh, the end of the Dutch is, is nigh, but we just 
haven't quite managed to make it happen yet. Nothing really surprising there. Uh, Amsterdam should be falling soon. These guys are out of supply, so they really there's nothing they can do. This uh, fortress they have a little down here in the south has done quite a good job. So kudos to them for managing to hold the south of their country as long as they did. Um, further down, completely, the line is just completely gone. Twelfth Army is reaching for the coast. Fourth Army is likewise. Panzer Group Kleist isn't trying to engage the British stragglers. And same thing here, looks like these guys are trapped by the river and the bad terrain combined with air and uh, artillery attacks last turn. So they can all be eliminated. Further south, the British have basically put blockers up around our armored units, so they're stalled for now. This large pocket doesn't seem to have managed to break out. I'm guessing the supply and the air and artillery attacks we subjected them to just combined with the fact that I think this is the first army group. So all these guys are going to be suffering quite a lot of reduced action points. Just means they can't break out and the, their command and control has almost entirely disintegrated. So that's it for the French. The French have lost, what is this? The entirety of Ninth Army, by the looks of it, or at least what remains of it, is in a pocket, as well as a chunk of first. Yep. Okay. That is that. We will uh, grab some screenshots, I suppose. But overall um it was a very good game the french i think made one major mistake earlier on and that was deciding to fight the well they they, they saw an opportunity when we were fighting around namur uh and when they north of namur here there was an engagement between french French tanks and mobile units and the mobile units of six army. So they, they surprised us and hit us hard and then didn't fade away before the infantry of six army could catch up. And because of that, we managed to stack up heavily along this line and breach the river, sweep around here and a huge amount of French units were pocketed around Namur, including a good chunk of their army level artillery. I think that was the turning point of the game. Before that, it was looking quite delicate for us. So it was, uh, but after that, it was our game to lose, in my opinion. Um, the French, I'm sure, have different opinions on that. So hopefully they will do a bit of a write-up and tell us more. After that, it was just a steady retreat. Um, they just couldn't quite... They, the Belgians, I must say, credit them for a very good game. They managed to run out the entire... Belgian army, including inflicting quite a lot of casualties around Brussels and Antwerp. I suspect there were some issues hampering them with coordination between the French, the British and the Belgians, which didn't help, but even that, so they did a bloody good job. The British have done also a fairly good job, except for some tactical blunders where they would uh, quite regularly overstack hexes uh, by 50% or more, which can lead to some quite heavy casualties when the Germans come knocking. Looking at the map, there's still significant British force here and they should be able to withdraw safely without getting encircled. Now the French forces are largely disintegrated. There's bits and pieces everywhere, but there's nothing to stop the Germans really driving on Paris with the remnants of Sixth Army. So yeah, that we're gonna to have to call this a solid win for the German side. All right, thanks a lot everyone. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see all the other wonderful games that I play out like this. And if you enjoyed it, um, also I think I'm gonna do a retrospective and write and final write up on the Something Awful forum. So check out the threads over there. Thanks a lot everyone.